Now the Philadelphia Eagles, deadly close to acquiring star quarterback Russell Wilson, and should they even do it to begin with, what will they have to give up? We'll talk about all that plus a soundbite from that idiot Colin Cowherd coming up next. The following announcement has been paid for by the ENN Podcast. He has a, he has a good energy, you guys. Can you feel Sport. that excitement? And also, the merchandise, wearing the hats. Is what I'm seeing for real? I can't wait till this, this video is over so I can say his name anymore. Music. Wow. Again, I hate to do this again, but these are goofy. What the hell? What is it? Whoa! What the hell? And more. What's his next book going to be called? I would give Seattle all my picks in the first round, next year's first round as well. I'd give you four first round picks and I'd give you a player. If you want Darius Slay as good as he is, Seattle needs a corner. I'd give you Darius Slay four first round picks. Russell Wilson, I believe, would dominate that division in Philadelphia forever. Um, but I would say this if Seattle, I can't think of any reason I'd give up on Russell Wilson uh, because you're just waving the white flag in that division. If you don't have Russell Wilson, you can't. Jalen Hurts said if you traded quarterbacks, Jalen Hurts isn't going to win that division. You're, you've got too many good coaches, too many good offenses, too many good quarterbacks. Kyler Murray, Matt Stafford. I Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the ENN Podcast. I'm, of course, professional wrestler Chris Wild. This is bar 4133. And as you just heard, Colin Cowherd thinks that the Eagles should do whatever they have to do to get star quarterback Russell Wilson. You know, it's crazy because the odds in Vegas last week, maybe a little bit longer than a week ago, went from a crazy 40 to 1 odds of the Eagles getting Russell Wilson to 5 to 1. That normally means that there's some chatter that somebody knows something for the odds to go dramatically in the other direction. And that's the only reason why I'm actually making this video because there's got to be something there, right? There's got to be something, just at least a discussion. Now, this all ends up on Russell Wilson if he even wants to come to Philadelphia. Uh, the Philadelphia fan base went crazy at the Pro Bowl when Russell Wilson, and again, man, this is, this is social media uh, and, and outlets like this. This is how much we obsess over the smallest things. When Russell Wilson signed uh, a young fan's hat, the only signing that he did was a Eagles hat. Everybody went crazy. But look, there's got to be something there. Now, Colin Cowherd says he would give up four first-round picks and uh, Pro Bowl cornerback Darius Slay for Russell Wilson. There's so much conversation going on in the radio world, locally and nationally, of where Russell Wilson's going to go. Will he even be traded by the Seahawks? I mean, there's so many different teams that he could go to, including a rival like the Washington Commanders, which, look, I haven't even been able to talk about that name. We will definitely do a video on that name coming up soon. And the New York Giants as well uh, could acquire a guy like Russell Wilson. But should the Eagles do it? I mean, look at the Super Bowl. On one end, you had the the, the eventual winner of the Super Bowl, the, and I was about to say St. Louis, the L.A. Rams, who decided, and, and then the, uh, the owner actually, or the GM actually had a shirt at the parade that said, F those first round picks. Uh, he basically gave up so many first round picks to acquire guys like Von Miller, uh, like a quarterback, Matt Stafford, who we're going to talk about. Matt Stafford made the difference. Now, could acquiring a star quarterback make the difference for the Eagles? Now, obviously, the Rams have su had such a great defense. I mean, a, a guy like Aaron Donald, who may be the best defensive player in the league uh, on his defense, he's better than any player that the Eagles have on their defense. There's so many holes that the Eagles have. Will the quarterback really make a difference? And it, and then I look at Jalen Hurts. I look at all the promise that Jalen Hurts has. I mean, you look at his highlight reel. Uh, from this year. There were some impressive plays or games where he absolutely took over, like the Denver game, like the uh, New Orleans Saints game. Uh, I mean, he just showed so much promise for a kid that young, 23 years old, uh, has never had uh, been with a, a coach, an offensive scheme, I mean, for multiple years. He would get that this year. Could he learn? Could he learn how to read a defense? Could he get some weapons around him and actually be the difference maker for the Eagles? And then I go, well, if you put Russell Wilson on this Eagles team, do they beat Tampa Bay? I think they get closer than they did 
with Jalen Hurts, but that's also because Russell Wilson is an MVP uh, type of player, is a guy that's won a Super Bowl, that's been in a Super Bowl, and has absolutely tortured the Philadelphia Eagles every single time that he's come to Philly. Now, we also got to look at Howie Roseman. <laughs> Let's stop acting like Howie Roseman is great picking in the first round. Now, he had, he did great this year. Let's not get that. Let's not get that mixed up by getting Devonta Smith by really raping the Miami Dolphins um in the process, leapfrogging over the Giants for Devontae Smith. I mean, it was the best that I, I think maybe that he's ever done in the first round as far as what he acquired. But this is not, his track record in the first round is not great. Jalen Rager, everybody. Let's let's look at Jalen Rager. I, I mean, that's in it to its own uh, a bad pick. So first round pick is not does not mean that you're going to get a star player, especially when Howie Roseman is picking. And this is what the Rams were thinking. I'm going to give up every first round pick that I have. I'm going to give up first round picks in 2032 in order to get a quarterback that can take me to the championship. Does Russell Wilson get the Eagles to the Super Bowl next year? Absolutely not. Not Russell Wilson alone, but the Eagles do also have some money to spend. And I know Russell Wilson's salary will cut into that, but they do have some money to spend. And they also have picks that are not just in the first round. Howie Roseman is historically better in the later rounds uh, with his picks. Now, there are some stupid scenarios going on where DK Metcalf could come along in the package. I don't, I mean, that's just pipe dreaming it at this point. Why Seattle would ever do that? But to go back to Colin How Cowherd, and I called him an idiot in the open. The Eagles, he says Seattle needs a cornerback. That's why you would add Darius Slay. You know who else needs a cornerback? The Philadelphia Eagles need a cornerback badly. And while I bring up the defense and I bring up cornerback, that's another reason why people are saying, no, you don't get Russell Wilson. You build this defense. You take those first-round picks because there's a hundred great edge rushers. And, um, and I'm being sarcastic. but I mean, not sarcastic, but I'm being uh, I'm exaggerating. There are a lot of good edge rushers that are going to go in the first round. There are good cornerbacks. There are great linebackers like N'Kobe Dean. You get that. You build up the defense. And then you help Jalen Hurts with free agency. Maybe signing a guy like Allen Robinson or Chris, Goodwin, or Chris Godwin. Um, and get some pieces around him there. The argument, I mean, I can argue, this This video went longer than I thought it was going to go. I could argue this point. Uh, if you ask me, would I want a Russell Wilson right now or Jalen Hurts, I'm going to pick Russell Wilson. Um, again, just because I've seen what he's done to the Eagles, the guy has been getting annihilated over in Seattle because they don't have an offensive line. I think he would absolutely love to play behind a Jason Kelsey, a Lane Johnson um, I, I mean, just Jordan Mailata. Uh, these guys are all better than any lineman that Seattle has. Um, I think he would actually thrive. I think he'd get another wide receiver uh, to go with Devontae Smith. Those are a great pair of weapons. And Nick Sirianni has shown he knows how to run the football. So with that being said, yeah, I would go in for Russell Wilson. I don't know if I'd give four first-round picks. I'd at least give two. Uh, Two first-round picks, Jalen Hurts, and maybe a maybe a pick, a first-round pick next year uh, for Russell Wilson. Call me crazy, but I just think he automatically makes the Eagles a threat. And we're in the NFC East, where it's a weak division. It's not like a division that he's in already. When you got the the Rams and the Niners, it, he is in a tough division right now. He would absolutely eat in the NFC East. Uh, but again, do you do you pull the trigger and give up all those picks you acquired for Russell Wilson? Time will tell as it's getting closer to some moves being made. If not, there are a couple other quarterbacks that we'll call or we'll talk about in some other uh, episodes here. Deshaun Watson, Aaron Rodgers, Kirk Cousins, Jimmy G. Uh, there's so many different guys that the Eagles could acquire. Are they better than Jalen Hurts? We'll talk about that maybe on the live. By the way, thanks you guys for joining in on the live streams, donating to the channel using the cash app, dollar sign Chris Wild Wrestling. Appreciate everything that has come in. Uh, you guys are absolutely awesome. With that being said, I'm going to quit running this. Uh, everybody stay safe, stay healthy, go birds, and I'll see you later. B -A -B